right, we're just getting ready to finish the last petal. Um, we're at the point where we add one bead. Go through that top bead. Put on three. Loop. Tail, get it out of my way. It takes a bit of pulling and adjusting to get the beads to lay just where you want. So you go through the last and down to the center. Thread's not cooperating. All right, there, we've got all five petals done. And now you've got two tails. I usually just weave it through this bottom 10 all the way around the circle to secure that thread tight. And then I just clip off the ends so I can use it as a beaded motif on my crazy quilts. There you have it. Finished bead. I've got a couple others that I can show you that I've done. Um, some of these I haven't clipped. I don't know how well this one will show up. This one's done with uh, kind of a green silver line center and some flat beads. This has six petals. So to do this one you would start with 12 center beads instead of 10. But it's made the same way. Another one I did is this one, which I kind of like. It reminds me, I don't know, of a clown or something really funky. It's got um, drop beads or on the ends of the outside. This is a two-tier bead. And then smaller ones on the interior. Let me lay it flat and see if it little more three-dimensional. I've done that five petal bead with all white beads. They tend to want to slip. Um, let's see what else do I have. I tried a three petal bead. Um, this is done with translucent um, purple. Yeah. It's all right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I've also got, um, I've done some of the five petal, oh, this is a six petal bead in size 15 beads. So you can see it is quite a bit smaller. And this is uh, with a olive green and a fuchsia bead. And just mostly experimenting with color combinations, kind of an orangish, tangerine and a green. And that's about it. This was the first one I made that worked out so well. It got me hooked. And I hope you enjoy making your beaded flowers as much as I do. Thanks.